our new home. You wanna go? I slept in the guest room last night because my room is currently empty. did not watch my last vlog definitely go watch that because things are happening I am moving for the first time ever today I've lived in the same town for the past 25 years is this a quarter-life crisis I think so and today we are moving to Jacksonville Florida moving out by myself me and my puppy this is insane it doesn't feel real we've got lots to do today but it's gonna be a journey mother's driving the truck today because I'm too scared this thing is just too big I don't want to drive it you feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. I'm taking your car. Yeah, you're I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a photo. This is all happening so fast. Okay, and the road trip begins. It's literally only two and a half hours, but this is still crazy. This is what we're working with. Not much room, but we gotta work with it. I went pee because I'm like a notorious. I always stop on every road trip. I make everyone stop because I can't even hold it for two and a half hours. I'm driving my mom's car. My mom's driving the truck. My best friend Emily's driving my car up tomorrow. We had to figure it all out, but we're on the road again. Piper's so anxious. She thought I was leaving her. We're not leaving each other ever. We're moving Piper. Piper, come here. That really scared me. Oh my God, she's never jumped out. She was ready to get out. Even though I did go pee right before I left, you know, I'm about to pee my pants, but it was a good drive. I listened to Sophia with an F. She had Abby Lee Miller, and if you grew up watching Dance Moms, there was a lot of tea, and also Olivia Rodrigo. You know, her album Guts came out. It was a good ride. Made good timing, and my mom's like 30 minutes behind me, so we'll start unpacking then. I need to go get the keys. Hopefully it's all smooth. I've never done this before. It was going so smooth, you know, and then at the end, of course there has to be a little shit show. I got the keys, everything's good, but I guess earlier today my AC broke, so I'm getting a new unit in tomorrow. I guess that's cool, but obviously I don't have AC when I move in, and there's still maintenance guys in here like doing touch-up paint, and I came after, like, I thought I was going to move in at 9.30 this morning. It is now 4.45. They told me I had to move in at 4. Okay, I gave them their time to finish what they needed to do. It's still not ready. People are still in here, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to get angry because... Whatever. Empty apartment tour starts now. I've always wanted to do one of these. And before everyone helps me to come move, let's get it out of the way. Come right in and of course I had some Amazon packages already waiting for me. I love that. But there's a huge like entry closet which will be huge for the program right there. It is pretty massive so I'm happy about that. And then the living room, it's actually really stormy out right now so you can't see. But in the daylight, like truly I have really good lighting which I love. Not vibing with the popcorn ceilings but we're gonna, it's fine. We have a little dining room area and then you walk in right to the kitchen I am a fan of like at least this could have been way worse We have silver appliances, which not all of them have which I'm very grateful for all white cabinets I love see these are like all their tools still pantry is a great size I mean it doesn't only have to be a pantry. Wow. I didn't even know about that and up there we have a dishwasher, a little bar area, and I love, like the, the window is huge. You just can't see the good lighting right now. Then going off of the living room, you go right here. We have another, is this a closet? No, this is the broken AC, of course. These doors, also not a fan, but we chose the cheapest apartment because this is our first apartment, it is okay. This way we have the bathroom, hello. Again, all white, we love it. We have a bathtub, of course, I will be deep cleaning that before anything. And also, I'm not a fan that's the like, it's really low, like at home I have a really high countertop, but again, first apartment, can't be spoiled. My uncle reminded me, because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this, 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 this. He was like, Naya, I went into my first apartment with just a mattress, and I was like, oh, you're right. I am blessed, I am grateful, I am happy. And then right off here is the bedroom. Oh! Another guy's coming in. Oh my god. I literally didn't hear you at all. That was the biggest jump scare of my life and now the maintenance guys are back so that like really scared me. But back to the bedroom. I forgot to show I really like the flooring. It is so cute. Piper, sniff around, do your thing. I don't have a fan. 
I just realized, but again, we're gonna make it work. Little closet, I mean, not little. This is a great size closet. Again, huge for the program. The door's not so huge, but it's fine. And then I love that there's a sliding door, and I love my view, the little leg, it could have been worse. I had the option to be on the ground floor and have like a tennis court, or this one, and I definitely chose this one, because Piper will love it. And very interesting, I have the washer and dryer right in my bedroom. Which again, I kind of love, huge for the program. Like this should be a normal thing. That is a very fast apartment tour because well, it's an apartment, it is small and we need to start moving. Maintenance center here, we're gonna get stuff happening. Sophia is here, huge for the program. Alicia is coming, my mom's about to be here. So before they come, we're gonna set up Wi-Fi because this is important. Literally just got delivered. Wow. Hey, everyone is here, U-Haul is here. Time to unload this big. Teamwork, boom, in less than an hour. High five, mom, for teamwork, less than an hour. I cannot believe we moved everything. That was so fast. Alicia came and without her, like we all, we all teamed up and we, boom, 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 we did not stop. Moving is not fun, but when it's fast, I, I'm happy about it. No, I'm literally her so happy with so this shiny. lighting. Like, this is natural lighting. I'm so upset. This is cute. This is and nice. also, Good like, block, when we get ready on Sunday morning, we should take. Oh, yeah. Anyways, all we have to do now is clearly just organize. Everything is in here set. At least everything is in its designated like area, like kitchen stuff, closet stuff, room stuff, bathroom stuff. But now it's gonna take a while. Like I'm looking around, I don't even know where to start. Well, I mean, are we sure it's in here? Yeah, it's in here. Oh no. Jeez, there it is. <gasps> oh, Sophia found a hook. And this is the first thing we're doing in the apartment. Got it? No. Wait, when did you sneak these hooks in, Mom? Literally, Sophia found this hook right in the corner and we thought it was a perfect okay. place this for that. You. Oh, you want me to put it up? Okay. This is your apartment. Okay. Yay! Yay! The first decor! I feel like the most crucial part is like what is the smartest area to put everything in. And I actually don't have like that many big cabinets. I have a huge pantry, but not many like normal size cabinets. We have these minis up there, but they're kind of like hard to reach. Like I can't get cups out of there every day, you know? And especially my shorter friends, they can't even reach that. So trying to figure out where to accommodate everything. I definitely want spices. I think I'm gonna put right there because it just makes sense in this area. Actually, maybe I could put cups up here. I mean, you just reach, I don't know. And then this pantry, like I'm not actually gonna fill this all with food. So I don't know. First box is officially unpacked. It was only like pantry stuff and spices, but that still gets me excited. Labeling everything with an necessity. It helps a lot. Since Sophia has Bob the Builder in her jeans, <laughs> she's doing my vanity. I'll wish you luck. <laughs> I mean, let me know if you need help. And she literally just did this for me in like five minutes too. Look how beautiful. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace. The things you can find on there, and I ordered a cushion. It's in one of the boxes in the living room. It is golden hour right now, so it just looks beautiful out here. And I have string lights to eventually put up. Bob the Builder, can she fix it? Amazon unboxing, all the boxes that were waiting for me before I even lived here. I had them shipping. Okay, also the vanity, which is a huge box that was waiting for me. I'm so excited. Oh, these were, yes. Oh, are these too small? Oh yes, I could take out the white. I have two pieces of art that I really wanna hang up and I was struggling with which size to pick. And I think this will be a good size. I'm not gonna do the little white frame so it's bigger. Do you think this is a good size, Mom? For like a piece of art? Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyone wondering, this is 11 by 17. I'll link all these down below. Next package is a bit too low. Eee, this is what I was excited for. My new cups! This has been in my Amazon cart for probably two years. <gasps> like waiting for the day that I move out or like something. That, that day is here. Oh, 
Yeah, thank you. I gotta make the moving content good. If you can't tell one thing I forgot to bring were scissors, so I have box cutters. The box cutters. Where is it? Right there. Oh, we do got a knife. Halloween. These are for my overnight oats. <gasps> Those are so cute. They are so cute. You know you've seen them on like TikTok. I have it. You have it? No. I literally eat overnight oats every single day, so now I can meal prep them in the cutest things. They're four. You want to make overnight oats tonight, guys? Since we're broke? Oh, every single one is different. Like, they're all different patterns. Yeah. Oh, okay. Two of them, there's two and two. Okay, these are the two different patterns. Very cute. And then it comes with their own personal gold spoons. I know my mom's thinking I'm ridiculous right now, but little things make me happy. Look how cute. It's the little things in life. So cute they're four tall glasses again TikTok. they went viral and i got them look at everyone ah, ooh, ah. i have my own audience literally right there oh and these all come with four glass straws wow okay i am stocked up on straws one more box of fragile i know exactly what these are <laughs> we got the tall glasses and now we have the short glasses Ooh, ah. So that came with four of those and also more glass straws. Hi, your first drawer is done. Yay! Ooh. Sophia's making progress, first drawer is done. I'm so happy. Bob the Builder over here, and then we have the wine bar creator. Wait, it's already looking good. Yeah. My mom also found this piece, what, at the thrift store? Yeah. I'll show you guys tomorrow in the light, but she painted it white and it looks so good and it's gonna be my bar. It's not gonna be my TV stand. It's there for now because my TV stand is not here, but that's there for now. Look at living in the same town as Cousin again. Yay! After seven years. Eee! Okay, we just ran to Dollar Tree to get some drinks because we were dehydrated, but also they got beer. I don't do that. <laughs> and my mom got me wine. Ready? Okay. Open it for the boys. You know you're struggling? Oh, oh you right. My wine glass. First pour in the apartment. Wow! Out of a box. Out of a box. Classic. That's a big glass. Three, Three glasses into oh. one. Dinner of champs, pasta, and drinks from the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. 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 That's all I can do until Emily gets here with my car. Come on, Piper, you have to get used to it. First coffee in the morning with the new glasses. Perfection. The new apartment. First morning. When I tell you coffee is like the only thing in my fridge, I mean it. Coffee, water, and the drinks we got last night. It is an errand running day. So starting off with green means Dollar Tree. I'm gonna try and get as much as I can here. We're on a budget. You guys don't have like trash cans like bigger than the ones in the back, right? Okay. Dollar Tree did not have actual bags today, so they gave us trash bags. And I guess that works. We can save them for the trash. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> We're running all the different errands today. The cushion I ordered for the egg chair was the cheapest, the worst, the worst thing you could possibly think of, so it's going right back. Good luck. I'm about to show Sophia something. <gasps> oh, yeah. This is how my computer looks right now. Our computer, my TV. It's just amazing. Yeah, I think we could definitely watch a new movie. I turned it on to set up last night and I don't know what the heck happened. Emily and her fiance are about to get here with my car. It feels weird that I haven't had my car in Jacksonville yet. And that is another car filled with things. So we're gonna unload that. We're unloading all the things we just bought today. It has been very productive. Ah! Oh, you got broad stuff. Wow, you're productive. I love that, thank you. Emily's not messing around today. Do you wanna take it this way? Wow, she didn't wanna take more than one trip. Thank you very much. You need help? <laughs> yeah, you got it. You're skinny. Think skinny. You are skinny. <laughs> Wait, Emily, Chris, I want to show you something. Let's make sure you guys are on camera for this. <gasps> when did that happen? I don't know. I Wait, don't what was it? know. 
I, it was in Sophia's car, but this could have happened. My mom had this in Miami, so she moved it, and then we took it straight here. First time on the pickleball court. I literally love that it's right across from my apartment. For the first time in history, we have a chance to beat Emily and Chris. One, one. I'm scared. Game point. Game point. You guys don't understand how much that never happens. Never happened. We are the champions. Ah! We move in Yay! Weekend. Literally first game of my place and we won. What? Okay, here's the tea. I did stop vlogging earlier yesterday. I think once my mom and Emily left, I definitely had a mental breakdown. All the feelings I was avoiding, they came and smacked me in the face. And did I stop for like an hour? Absolutely. Could I stop it? No, it would not stop. I was trying and it wouldn't. I'm not good with processing emotions. And I think it just snapped into me like this is the first time you're coming to Jacksonville and you're not going back home. Like this is now you're staying. Every time we come to Jacksonville, it's for fun. We're so busy. We're going out, we're hanging out with everyone. This is real life now. Like I was unpacking my clothes and for some reason I'm just like sobbing the whole time. I don't know why my clothes and like making this my room, my space affected me so much. Sophia was just like, are you good? And I was like, no. I called my grandma, I was sobbing. I was like, Piper, are you good? I kept checking in on my dog because I didn't want to make her sad, but I'm better now. I'm not as sad as I was yesterday. I was in a dark, dark place last night for no reason. I mean, yes, there is good reason. Like, there's a lot of change happening. I've never left my town, so, and I don't do well with change. I'm very aware of that. But it was, like, the dumbest things. I was like, I'm never going back to my gym. Like, I was thinking of, like, just all my small town vibes. But we're better. The apartment's looking so good. Sophia helped me a lot last night. We fixed everything. Everything is basically in its place. We took showers. We had a little self-care night because... It just helped a lot. And then we watch YouTube videos together because it just brings the positive vibes back. Especially since I broke my TV. We've only been using Alexa to play music. But that is the goal for today. We will find a TV today. We're about to go on a beach walk, take Piper, meet some friends. And it's going to be a good morning. And we're pulling ourselves out of a dark space. I will give you guys apartment updates when I get back because everything is coming together so well. And I can't wait to show you. And I think I might have found a TV. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Accidentally the longest day ever. We left the apartment at 9 15 this morning got home at like 5 30 cooked dinner showered because we were out literally all day This morning we accidentally went on like a two hour walk We like went down the beach. We went to a garage sale. We were all over the place and we have not stopped all day I mean granted like the last two hours we were at our friends like apartment swimming in her pool But still we've been go 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 the whole time. So we're having a night in today is UF versus Tennessee So that's a big game Game, but we're skipping out on that one because tomorrow is Jags versus Chiefs and that's gonna be a huge game It is Jacksonville's first home game of the season So we're mentally and socially and charging our battery for that, but we did make progress. Do you see that guys? We have a TV. I set it up myself. I know I'm so techy. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace because all the TVs online for like this is a 50 inch TV They were all starting at like two no they were all starting at 300. I got this for 140 from Facebook Marketplace. So thank you, Facebook. It can be sketchy sometimes, but sometimes you get good finds like this one. So now that we have a TV, and my mom is bringing up the TV stand next week, and then everything's pretty much done. We went to some stores today. Bath and Body Works is having a sale on wallflowers. They were literally $2.95, so I got a few of those. And then the plugins were also on sale, so I got one for the bathroom, because I already have one right there. Piper got her first bath, and she's not happy because we have no rug to rub her body on with so I'm sorry baby we also have the first load of laundry going don't look at this closet still have to go through that but that is important me and Sophia had a lot of clothes somehow 
I also just placed my first grocery order that we're picking up. Unfortunately, late tonight. I know I'm not gonna have time tomorrow with the game and everything to like prep for the new week. So I'm picking up late tonight, first grocery haul of the apartment. That's exciting. But until then, we're gonna start a show and this is crucial because this is the first thing we're gonna watch in my apartment. And I have chosen Gilmore Girls. I've never watched it. The girls rave about it. And apparently it is fall season and you must watch Gilmore Girls during the fall. That's just what the girlies are saying nowadays and I feel left out. So that is the vibe. We can light this candle. Even though we definitely just made pumpkin waffles for dinner, we're gonna light this. Now the vibes are complete. Fastest grocery haul ever, first apartment grocery haul. Yes it is, 9.30 at night and it was a vibe cause it was the fastest pickup ever and no one was there, so I kinda liked it. Sophia is gonna assist me and we're gonna do this fast. Eggs, Sophia actually doesn't wanna assist me. Coffee, pita, tortillas, tomatoes, bagels. Wait, I should show the before. This, besides the door, this is the before, okay? We got a few things in there, I brought stuff from home. Potatoes, dog wash. Dog shampoo. No dogs. Onions. Cucumbers. Sweet potatoes. A hella amount of bananas, apparently. Cherry tomatoes. <gasps> Wait, they did have chocolate almond milk. They just told me it was sold out. No, we got chocolate almond milk. My night has been made. Arugula. Spinach. Ground turkey. Peppas. Burgers. Turkey bacon. My favorite snack, popcorn. Tuna for when my mom comes. Sweet potatoes, edamame, the biggest bag of strawberries you've ever seen. Also, the biggest bag of broccoli. Brussels sprouts, Sophia's favorite. Fuck off. <laughs> Olive oil, which is so freaking expensive nowadays. Minced garlic, diced tomatoes, and green chili. And the biggest thing of old fashioned oats. That is the haul, the first grocery haul. All that only came out to like $135 from Walmart. I was very particular with what I picked because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I didn't get any snacks except for popcorn, so. Trying to save. Oh, lastly, oh! <laughs> oh, that was good, toilet paper. Angel saw. Okay, in the after, you probably can't even tell a difference because it's mainly put the vegetables in there, potatoes in there. Again, pretty simple, I eat very simple. And then the freezer, it's all stocked up, all vegetables, meat, bread, fruit. Yes, I keep the bread in the freezer, it just lasts longer, I don't find myself going through it fast. And most importantly, Sophia brought tequila for tomorrow, for tomorrow's game day. The pantry is looking very stocked, actually. Down here is just like baking tools, a lot of bowls down there, some more baking goods. We had this for dinner, and this was so freaking good. We had breakfast for dinner, highly recommend. Cans, pasta sauces, and just this is the majority. Like we have pasta, rice, snacks back there, sauces. We've got everything right there. And that is one cabinet. Up here we have just aluminum foil, sandwich bags, plastic wraps, all that kind of stuff. My lunch box and to-go cups. And then on top I put like my cutting boards and just when people come over different trays to put out. And I feel like that is organized very well. Wow, I just turned into like what's in my kitchen up here. These are all my cups. I don't have the top filled because at the moment I don't even know what to put up there. But we have all my mugs right here. I just got this one yesterday from Big Lots. You can't tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. And then all my brand new cups are there. And on this side is all my plates. We have just flat plates. I still want pasta bowls, but then I have my bowls from Hawaii, overnight oat new bowls, and again, nothing on top at all. Everything's slowly coming together. We have my towels, we have a lot of bananas. This little setup, I love it. I just need to get a little butter tray and then it'll be stocked. I'm gonna put this into this bottle. I had a similar setup to my home, back home, my hometown home, what? I don't know how to say that. I had a similar setup, so I wanted to recreate it because I was obsessed with it. I'm showing you cabinets slowly. Spices, to-go things. I don't even know what's up here, just random things. Oh no, these are like really not stocked. I guess I didn't have that much. But down here, I put my pots, I put my mom's coffee maker when she comes to visit. And then over here is just like my blender, my machines. Back there we have an ice cream maker, a waffle maker, and my cutting boards. And that, is the gist of my tiny kitchen that I don't even have stock because I don't have that many things. So it's very lovely. I don't even know what's on this side. Wow, see an empty cabinet. I put the trash under the sink with, of course, all the cleaning supplies and we're stocked. It wasn't until I moved in that I realized I do not have a microwave, so um, my mom is bringing up an extra one that we had at home. 
to put probably just honestly in this empty cabinet because I don't use it often, I don't need it out. I use my air fryer for literally everything. I hate that the bathroom in here has a constant fan because that's just not for the vlog. They're ruining the show. We're having a wholesome night. We're doing a face mask now, a night in. This is not our normal Jackson Mo routine. Saturdays are usually, what time is Usually it? we're about to go out now. <laughs> usually we just finish our last drink. <laughs> Shot or two. At the pregame meeting. At the pregame and then catch our Uber really fast to go to Pete's. I kind of like the wholesome vibes. Now that I live here, I need a good balance. Literally, thank God Sophia has been here my first couple nights, because if not, I would be in the dumps. <laughs> I would be in a so dark, dark up. place. I am much better tonight than last night, right? I haven't even been sad today. Yeah, go look in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> I literally called my grandma last night crying and then I called her this morning and I was like don't worry grandma I'm in a much better mental space and she's like well are you alone yet I said no not till Monday when Sophia leaves and she said call me Monday I was like oh oh shoot okay <laughs> by the way if anyone's wondering we're using the salicylic acid by ordinary it is my go-to I think the main goal of it is to like definitely it gets in your pores cleans everything out and I definitely feel like a new woman after not sponsored wish I was love you ordinary or struggling with the dryer apparently Sophia said it needs to be on 70 for it to even work it keeps coming out wet and that could be really bad for my electric bill, so we need to figure that out. Hi, Pipey! Are you enjoying your space? Are you feeling so happy here? You were with us all day. She said, yes, I love it here. I love Jacksonville. I love the beach. <laughs> okay, back to watching Gilmore Girls. We've been binging. We're about to go on four. Wait, these are so cool. Here you go. Coffee bright and early for game day. We got these little ball ice cubes yesterday literally at the thrift store. An ice tray. They're so cute. They're leveling up our morning routine. First ever Jags game as a Jacksonville resident. It's a very exciting day. I already told you guys it's Jags versus Chiefs, so I don't know how that game is going to go. I think I know who's going to win. Yesterday's SEC game, Gators beat Tennessee. And that never happened, so you never know. It could change. Look at me, I'm getting into football. I've been watching some football shows, All American, Friday Night Lights, so good. Also, got ready in my vanity for the first time ever. It was definitely a vibe. I will link this vanity down below because it's amazing. All my makeup fit just in these two drawers. And again, Amazon, like what? I still have my Ikea 9 drawer here, but there's no makeup in it, it's all right here. I have these acrylic organizers in it. This one right here is from Dollar Tree Lifesaver. The rest are from, I think, Bed Bath & Beyond. But I really like this one because before my blush bronzer highlighter was in this huge bin and I just didn't know what I had. But now I organized it by blush, bronzer, highlight in the back. So now I know, like I got a lot of blush I need to use. So this was definitely a vibe getting ready. Everything was organized. By the way, I'm not wearing this shirt. I'm borrowing my friend's shirt. I have yet to have my own like Jags gear yet. I need to go shopping for that. I tried yesterday but couldn't find any anywhere. So we're about to head to my cousin's house and we're gonna have a little pregame with friends. And we're gonna have a good day. Fingers crossed for the Jags. Okay, beautiful. Go Jags. The lighting is bad but go Jags. Crash. Come say hi to the vlog, Crash! Come say hi! Say hi! You're gonna be in the vlogs a lot now! I know! Sophia made homemade pumpkin bread, and it's bomb. That's this is beautiful. the most random, like... Taste test. Sophia did make it a few days ago, but that's okay. Cheers. Mm-hmm. So, so good. good. Hold on, I have to get this first. You were like... <gasps> cheers! Cheers! cheers. Okay, officially I've been in Jacksonville a week, settled in, started my new job, I'm getting used to the apartment, I've had no more mental breakdowns, just that one. Also, yes, my new shirt, I placed my first ever order on Timu, which has been popping off, and I ordered this, out of all things, you know, gotta, the fall spirit, it's my favorite. But this week was just so crazy, work, I was like, I was grinding. I'm an eight to five girly now, who would have thought, not me. So if the vlogs ever get behind, that is why, because I'm a, I know of a full-time job. It's a crazy switch over, a crazy life change. My mom is now here for the weekend and she brought up a few last minute things to finish off the apartment so everything is done. My TV stand came from back home and everything is finally in its place. I have all these books that were kind of just all over the place and now they have a home and everything feels put together. All my electronics are in those two baskets instead of all over the place. We have something hanging finally above the couch so that's 
feeling done. I have to show you guys out here because this literally just finished today. My mom was doing a bunch of last minute things for me. Look how cute. We've been trying to find cushions for this egg chair for the longest. They were like $100, $200 all over the place. Just the cushion. And she finally found this cushion thrifting today and I'm so freaking grateful. And now my area is set. The sun is setting. Look at the vibes. Everything it looks so good. This is also another order I got on Timu. I literally ordered a few things. The most rare random things you could possibly think of. And I do recommend, I, all my things are great quality. We've got a little pumpkin guy and this rug. Let's have a moment for the rug. Literally my cousin's friend saw it, I think on the side of the road, like it had tags on it and everything. And he was like, hey, does any of the girls want this? And I was like, I do, I call dibs. So who knows where this rug came from, but we got it. Oh, where does it say? Oh, a thrift store. Maybe he got it at a thrift store and he thought it was a nice rug. I don't really know. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to sit in my egg chair and do my self-help reading, you know, have a moment. So that is the update for now. I am settling into my new life in Jacksonville very comfortably. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. I don't even know what I vlogged because I feel like I was just picking you guys up at random times. So hopefully I captured the good moving experience all over the place. The ups, the downs, the excitings, the crying. Stay tuned for some exciting content and I will see you next with another video. Bye guys! Thank you.